Yeah. What can you tell me? Lemons. Super. Wire. Grape. Is that garlic? Moss and oil. You know the thing that was on the other one. Yeah. Copper. Yeah. Copper wire. Fantastic. Yeah, that's super. Yeah, that's, but that's a little bit of, of metal, of solid copper. Yeah. What do you think that metal might be? Silver. Silver. Steel? That's lovely, that is a type of metal, yeah, that's fantastic. That one there is called zinc, you might have heard of that before. Yeah. Might not. Okay, so you've got some wires here. You just look at that little device there very carefully. What kind of it like? It looks like maybe there's a light in there. Fantastic, there is. There's a little tiny light in there. And if you look even more carefully at it, you see there's two little stickers on it on either end. Yeah. Oh, there are. There's a label on it. Oh, no. There's a label on it. Can you see what it says on that label? Lemon LED. Yeah. Lemon, it's an LED, yeah. And there's two little symbols on either side. Can you see? Very small print. C U Z N. Fantastic. What do you think they Linked to this equipment. Like, I don't know, the Zen end, what was the word it was? Yeah, and that was copper end. So copper, C-U, is a symbol for copper, and Z-N. That's fantastic. Symbol for Zen. So obviously when you put it in the thing or something, that's the side they put on the copper, and that's the side. Yeah. Brilliant. Look at that. Okay. I don't need to give you any more help. No, you guys are absolutely geniuses. So what I need to do, if you could, can you please put a bit of copper and a bit of zinc into each one of those lemons? You'll see that on the end of each there's a little hole. You could just slide a piece of that metal, so one copper and one zinc into each lemon. Push, push, it all, push it all the way in. And just wedge it in, that's it, lovely. Yeah, that's perfect, it's great. And a bit of zinc in there. <laughs> <laughs> no, very important here, well, it's instinctively to do, but very important, because doing a science experiment, you should never really stick anything in your mouth. Um, yeah, that's great, just watch your fingers. And same with that one. Great collaborative work there, I really like that, instinctive. Now what I'd like to do, if you can, with the lemons, can you just line up where the lemons go zinc, copper, zinc, copper, zinc, copper in a line? So we've got, we've got copper, zinc, copper, zinc, copper, zinc. Oh. That's awesome. No, no, no it's the right way around for you. <laughs> That's perfectly fine. It's facing you. Right, now we've got some leads on the table. Would you mind using those little crocky clips? to connect a zinc to a copper, and then use another copper clip to connect a zinc to a copper. And, and the ones on the very end, just leave on their own. Yeah, and the remaining two leads, if you just put one end on their lead, LED, which actually stands for light emitting diode, which is a kind of electrical device. Yeah. Just remind me, if it's a light, what do you need to make a light work? Do you see? I mean, do you see any batteries, any cells, <laughs> any dynamos? Nothing. So would it surprise you if there may be something special happening in there? Yeah. Right. What I'd like you to do, if you can, pick up your other end of crocky clips. And let's just see what happens. On the right end? Yeah. Yes. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Isn't that cool? That's really cool. <laughs> I mean, what is there in this? Is there... Is it they the are real lemons. <laughs> they are. That's absolutely fantastic. First of all, what, what's the obvious thing that you can see happening? The light. Let's come on. And what do you need for light? Electricity. So what must be happening somehow in this... Lemons producing electricity. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Produce electricity. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no,
So you've talked about the acid in the levels. So what do you think? What do you think might happen? Um, what don't do be afraid to have a wild guess. That's <laughs> the beautiful thing about science. You just go, ah, oh, there is no... You know, you know, don't you, that we have to create a complete circuit? Yeah. Yeah, so somewhere along the line there's got to be something that's making sure it's a complete circuit. And you've also got to have that power source... So Does do the think? acid have a chemical reaction with the metals? The You've got an absolute star. You both are fantastic. Yes, it is. Um, no. That's a little time. You can go there and it's easy to just think. Throw some kid at kids and ooh. Um, if you pull out um, both those metals, just pull out randomly. Pull out a bit of metal. A little metal. It went off. So you've broken the circuit. The circuit. Yeah. Yeah. If you just look at the two metals, can you just compare the, the, a zinc one and a copper one? Just yeah, compare those two. Does it seem to do any difference? Not really. Not just the colour. Yeah. Not really. And if, we, if you put them together like that, does it light up? Yeah. Fantastic. So that's a fantastic suggestion. There's obviously no real reaction. It appears, which was the important word in science, it just appears. We don't know for definite, it just appears. There's no reaction between the two metals. So we do need that bit of fruit, yeah? Mm -hmm. Now you said acid, because you probably know, I think everybody knows, if you've got a bit of acid and I squirted a bit in your eye, would we go, oh, oh, it's lovely, <laughs> thanks, do some more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Because you're right, acid. And what do you know about acids? What do they do? They tend to be... Acids. Like, like, you know, like, when they, like... If you think of films that you might have seen and stuff like that, wherever they mention acid, if somebody falls okay. into acid or something, falls, okay, no. it tends to do what? What happens? <laughs> <laughs> they die. We're going to die in a swan, didn't we? Ah, not the acid. <laughs> um, sometimes when you squirt, I know some sort of horror films or things, oh, you probably won't have seen things like that, but um, if you see a reaction, a chemical reaction with something falling into acid, what do you often see? Coming off that substance. Bubbles. Yes, exactly, yeah. And, and actually, in time, if you've got a very strong acid, you see bubbles coming off that zinc. It's actually the zinc reacting with the acids in the lemon. Um, and they've got a very curious group of acids inside them. One of them, do you know the name of lemons? Do you know the, the, the group name for fruits like lemons and limes and oranges? It's just you guys. Fantastic, yeah. And actually, the acid, one of the acids in there is citric acid. And it's reacting with that to create a circuit. So would it work on like lime and stuff? Do you know what your experiment's going to be next week? <laughs> <laughs> That's absolutely awesome. Thank you very much, guys.